Hello, welcome to um, our final vision tutorial relating to the use of uh, microscopes um, in um, your science uh, course. So, um, the last area in relation to microscopes that we have to look at is how we go about using information from um, microscope images to uh, calculate um, magnification of a particular image or the actual size of an image or the image or the actual size of the object within the image so there is a formula that we need to be familiar with and the three rearrangements of that formula now i equals a times m now if we're going to break that down it becomes quite simple that i is the size of the image that is produced on the microscope m is the magnification of that image how much bigger is that image than the original object times 10 times 20 times a thousand and a refers to the actual size of the object that is on or under the microscope so we've got these three rearrangements where to calculate the image size we take the actual size times the magnification to calculate the actual size we take the image size divided by the magnification and to calculate the magnification we take the image size divided by the actual size now as well as that having looked at some videos previously on um the microscope itself there's another reference to calculating magnification you might need to be familiar with and that is the total magnification and um, that's produced by light microscope and the way in which that is calculated is by taking the magnification of the eyepiece lens, which is usually times 10, and multiplying it by the magnification of the objective lens that's being used, which as we've looked at in previous videos, it's usually times 4, times 10, or times 40. Multiplying those to give together gives you the total magnification um, produced by an image on a microscope. So that's a little separate formula that's just worth noting down. But for the course of this tutorial, we're going to focus on these. We're going to go through some worked examples of how to use these. Okay. So if you have a look at the next um, one here, we have a very basic image of a set. So it says calculate the actual size in millimeters. Now we are given two things. We are given the image size of 72 millimeters. And we're given the magnification. So using the ideas from above, I equals 72 millimeters. M equals 8,000. A is the actual size, which is the one we're trying to calculate, which we don't know. So to simply go about calculating it, we know that if you take the actual size, you get that by divide, taking the image size and dividing it by the magnification. So in the case of our numbers here, 72 divided by 8,000 equals 0 0.009 millimetres. And that's as simple as the process. Now, obviously, we can have different rearrangements of the equation that allows to calculate either the magnification or the image size. So if we want to go about calculating the magnification, so we've got another cell here, 23 millimetres, and its actual size is 0.002 millimetres. So we know that to calculate the magnification, we have to take the image size and we have to divide it by the actual size. So we know that this is our actual size and this is our image size. And don't worry, the image isn't to scale. So we simply divide them as the equation tells us to. So we take 23 millimetres, divided by 0 0.002 millimetres. And the reason why we can do that straight away is because that these are both in the same units. We will look at it in a moment where you have to convert the units to get them the same. In the case here, these are the same units. So we can do this straight away. You do that and you come out with an answer of 11,500. So the magnification this cell of this image size di um, dimension and the actual size of the cell, it would come out as the magnification times 11,500. So the image that would be produced is 11,500 times bigger than the actual cell. And then our final work example here, calculate the image size in millimeters. So we've got an image and we want to know what this is. We've got an actual size of 0.028 millimetres. 
we've got a magnification size of prime 7,000. So we know that the arrangement of the equation that we want is image size equals actual size times magnification from its top. So multiply those two numbers together. 0.028 times 7,000. So this is the image size that's being produced, and that will bring us out at 196. Now, because the image is in millimeters, our unit here needs to be millimeters. So you've got three worked examples of how to use the equation for calculating magnification, which is image size equals actual size of the object that's being put in the microscope times the magnification, and the rearrangements that um, you can get from the one equation. Now, there is something else that we need to look at in this respect, and that relates to units. So, sometimes you can see this symbol, which refers to micrometers. Now, if we have got millimeters and we want to get to micrometers, we have to convert by timesing by 1000. We're going to have a look at the same equation that we've just used, but using this set of units instead. So, if we look at our first cell example here, we've got 12,000 as a magnification, and we've got an image size of 92 millimeters. So we know that I equals 92 millimeters. We do not know the actual size, that's what we're trying to find out, and the magnification we know is 12,000. Now, we want the work out the actual size in micrometers. We have an image size that is in millimeters. So in order to be able to use this, we have to convert this to micrometers. So we times it by 1000. So to put it in perspective, one micrometer is a thousandth of a millimeter. So that's a really small unit. So it becomes 92,000 micrometers. So now we're in micrometers and we've got 12,000 for our magnification. So we know that actual size equals image size divided by magnification. So that then becomes our image size of 92,000 divided by 12,000 gives us 7.6. That's the actual size and it's in micrometers. So our unit. 7.6 micrometers. So, using the same idea on this example, 123 millimeters for our image and a magnification of 8,000. So, we know that I equals 123 millimeters, A we don't know, and M equals 8,000. Using the same basis as last time, we need this to be in micrometers, so we have to times it by a thousand. So 123,000 micrometers is the same as 123 millimeters. Once we've got those two figures, we know that actual image size, actual size divided by is image size divided by magnification. So we can do 123,000 divided by 8,000. And that comes out at 15.37 micrometers, which, as you can see, is our answer. So that is our actual size of that cell. Now, you can use a similar idea for calculating magnification. So we've got two here that we have um, Image sizes of 62 millimeters and 102 millimeters. Now, you might be given in a question the actual size and be asked to work out the magnification. So, in the case of this example, we're going to say the actual size is 92 micrometers. And the actual size here of this cell in this example is 13 micrometers. So, to work out the magnification, we know from the arrangements of the formula at the top, magnification equals image size, uh, 
magnification equals image size divided by actual size. So all we have to do is plug our numbers into this in the right forms. So image size equals 62 millimeters and actual size equals 92 micrometers. So we need this to be in micrometers, okay? So because we want the same units, okay? So we need to convert the millimeters into micrometers. So again, times by 1,000, which gives us 62,000 micrometers. We've already got 92 micrometers. So simply, we divide them. 62,000 divided by 92. These are both micrometers, so we can just divide them straight away. Gives us magnification of times 674. Using the same basis for this question, so our image size becomes a, is 102 millimeters. Our actual size is 13 micrometers. So we need this not to be in millimeters, but to be in micrometers. So it becomes 102,000 micrometers. We now have two units that are the same. So we can therefore divide them because image size divided by actual size gives us magnification, as the question is asking us for. 102,000 micrometers divided by 13 micrometers gives us a magnification of times 700 uh, 7,846. Good. So there you have several worked examples of how you calculate image size, actual size, or magnification using the magnification formula. And also how if you have or are asked for answers in units of micrometers, to get between micrometers and millimeters, from millimeters to micrometers, you have to times by 1,000 to go the other way. You have to divide by 1,000 to convert. And you've got some practical applications you can use as worked examples to then have a go at using um, the equation yourself. So thank you for watching um, this revision tutorial on um, how to go about calculating magnification.